So let me introduce Kyle Brinkman from MySpace and Chris Bissell also from MySpace. Um, who's going to be doing a demo in a little bit, but uh, Kyle, share sure. with yours. All right, thank you. I think Kevin did yourself. Um, and uh, first thing to say is uh, thanks to Six Car for, for hosting this thing once again. It's, uh, it's really great to see everybody. Um, and it's been uh, kind of a great we like to have. In fact, um, we have a new office in San Francisco, two blocks away from here. And one of the things uh, we're going to be doing uh, very soon is we'll have one of these events uh, at our offices and actually host it uh, across, uh, across our different offices as well. So uh, that should be pretty cool. Um, first thing I want to say is, is that MySpace is really, really excited and energized about open social. Um, we've got a lot of resources on this. Um, we are really um, pleased about where things are going. Um, and we are, I'm very happy about where we're at. We, um, we actually have open social applications running on, on MySpace profiles right now. Um, and we're going through a lot of uh, iterations on our developer site. The bad news for all you here right now is you can't go and play with it right now, but it's coming very, very soon. Uh, the MySpace developer platform site will be uh, opening in the coming weeks. And um, it's going to be an all comers. Everyone will have access. Um, and you know, it's, it's really about engaging uh, with all of you uh, as we um, added more and more capabilities, um, in much the same way that, that we've all been uh, doing today and uh, doing tonight. Um, so what I'm going to do now is give you a quick preview of, of what um, what is a MySpace application. I've heard from a lot of a lot of folks that, that that's sort of the, the question on the on the mind, and um, can give you a look at that. Um, and um, and after that, actually, we'll have Chris. Um, we can get our projector hooked up in in, in a super kind of fashion. Um, show you an actual uh, demo of an open social application that he's written, which is pretty cool, called Dreams. Uh, running on, on, some, uh, on some profiles and uh, can actually see the open social implementation. Um, so if we want to jump to the first slide. Um, and there it is. That's not it. Okay, here we go. Um, so what I'm going to talk you through is, is kind of the, the five big components of a MySpace application. Um, these will be, you know, depending on the use of your application, some of these are going to be required, some of these will be optional for the next financial year. Um, the first thing to understand is that every MySpace application is going to get its own profile. Um, and it's a profile that's, that's modeled very much in your specs on a standard user profile in the sense that you'll be able to customize um, Styles, you'll be able to do a lot of with this profile. The main purpose of it is, of course, just to let users see, find out about your application, and this is where they go to install it. So this top portion will be standard, except for the uh, images and uh, slight details. Pretty much everything below the line here will be things that you guys can control, including uh, whether you have a forum, whether you have comments, which could be like reviews, friends list, and we'll be adding more and more capabilities actually to that, um, including, I think, some, some of the social functionality for that uh, as we go along. So that's kind of the, the core um, piece that people will see when they want to go and install your application. What does that EO stand for? Uh, that's something <coughs> our graphic is on. I think it means for publish, for performance hesitation only. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, the next key component, of course, is very familiar, the application canvas. Um, so we have our standard My MySpace header up there. You get everything below that. It's the full width of the page. Um, so it's going to be 800 pixels. Uh, it's a huge amount of real estate to build really engaging and, and exciting applications. Um, and, and we're hoping that uh, we can actually extend this model quite a bit. So this is a new page of MySpace, the Canvas page. Um, it works you know, very much as you can expect. OK, on the profile. Um, so we have two profile services. Uh, so there's a left column and a right column. And uh, left column is, is stack underneath the, uh, the music player, the 300 floor, floor 30 width. Um, obviously, these, these are great for presenting uh, content and functionality. Uh, it's outward facing from profiles, things that will support uh, all the things which we think are, are great about MySpace profiles, customization, things of that nature. Um, and your apps will have um, a stack there as, as apps get installed, um, they'll, they'll be installed on top of that stack. 
next one. Uh, yeah, on the user homepage, and for those of you not super familiar with MySpace, the user homepage is the first page you see when you log in to MySpace. This is kind of the uh, place where you get status updates from your friends and you can go find your, your mailbox and things of that nature. A new module on this homepage which lists out the apps that are installed along with the, uh, the icons that you, you give them. Um, and those will tend to click to the Canvas pages. They did that. And we've got a user homepage module. We're really excited about this. This is kind of a new surface. Um, and it's obviously intended for applications that are kind of more inward facing. So it's pretty great for things like news feeds, um, anything that uh, you would want to have available to them on their user homepage. Um, but again, your application could have all three of those services. It could have the Canvas page, it could have profile modules, and it could have a user homepage module. Or it could have just one of those, those services. Um, I think that's it for the, the quick run through of, of what is a MySpace app. And now Chris is actually going to take us through a little bit of a, of a demo on that. <laughs> 